Hi, my name is Tiffany and I'm an English tutor at Open Wisdom. Today I'll be showing you how you can approach characterization within your creative writing. Firstly, what is characterization? Characterization can be described as a process of character development. It is important to have characterization because it allows the audience to understand the significance of the protagonist's journey. I'll be going through with you on how you can incorporate characterization into your creative, as well as how you can use uh, elevate characterization within your creative writing. Incorporating characterization requires considering a few questions. Firstly, what is the personal or emotional journey that your character is going through? What is the physical journey? Um, and if you do include the physical journey, I recommend that it is accompanied by an emotional journey to add further depth to your story. Um, will there be a catharsis, meaning an emotional or overwhelming rela realization about oneself? And finally, what is the message that you want your, uh, to convey to your audience? A way in which you can elevate your use of characterization is through the use of motifs. Um, a motif is an image, symbol, or idea that is repeated throughout a story. A famous example of a motif is Shakespeare's Hamlet, where skulls are used to reflect the universality of death and to foreshadow the play's tragic ending. So how can you combine a motif with characterization? I recommend that you use a motif as a parallel to your protagonist's journey, using it to reflect the changes your protagonist undergoes. As you can see, the type of motif changes when the character changes. Um, for example, when the protagonist is at the narrative climax, a negative motif is used to reflect their state of turmoil or conflict. Let's have a look at a past HSC example. The protagonist is first introduced as an arrogant dropkick who runs away from home. And he describes his sense of freedom as a blaze that invigorated his every cell. Blazers have a destructive connotation and therefore reflects his destructive behavior. At the climax, the protagonist realizes he is weak and helpless. And as a result, his past sense of freedom is described as a meager cinder being a dead fire. And finally, when the protagonist realizes the importance of selflessness and responsibility, his passion is described as a luminous passionate spark, which is inspiring and hopeful in nature. In each of these examples, the motif, while still relating to fire, changes in description to match the emotions of the protagonist. I hope you learned a lot today um, and stay tuned for the next video.